Channel on Sports Central will be going over a full Power 6 conference realignment, and this is actually the first conference realignment we've done on this channel. And, you know, obviously, this is just a conference realignment mock, basically. It's not factual by any means, obviously. It's just uh, basically how, if I were told to realign the conferences, this, was, this is how I would do it. And, you know, obviously, we got all five of the Power 5 conferences with the Big 10, the SEC, the Big 12, the ACC, and the Pac-12. And we're actually going to be adding a team or a conference to the overall Power 6 being the Big East. And yeah, you'll understand why I'm adding the Big East to the Power 6 once we get to that conference. You know, with that being said, it's like your first conference. That's going to be the Big 12. And let me remind you guys too, all six conferences that we're going to be going over here today will all have 12 teams. So basically, uh, the Big 12 had two teams overall added. Meanwhile, for the Big 10 and the uh, ACC, the SEC, with 14 teams, those three conferences do. Uh, we had to take away two teams from those. So, yeah, with that being said, let's look at your Big 12, though. Uh, we got four teams entering this conference in my realignment. We got Nebraska, Missouri, Texas A&M, and Colorado all entering. And we got two teams that are going to be leaving, being Iowa State and West Virginia. And, yeah, this is pretty similar to how it was back in the early 2000s, you could say, uh, when there was 12 teams. And, yeah, I think it just overall worked a lot better when we had um, these same regional teams uh, back then. And obviously, it's a little bit different now with – having West Virginia as a part of the conference and yeah of course back in the early 2010s we saw a lot of teams leaving the Big 12 of course Nebraska left for the Big 10 uh, back I believe before 2011 uh, and then we also saw Missouri obviously Texas A&M uh, going off to the SEC and then we saw Colorado move to the Pac-12 I also believe uh, that was right after the 2010 season as well so yeah, we saw four of those teams leaving the Pac-12, so basically we're just going to be returning those teams, and once again, leaving will be Iowa State. They'll be going to the Big Ten, and West Virginia, which will be going to the Big East. But yeah, your Big 12 North, we got Oklahoma, Nebraska, Colorado, Missouri, Kansas State, and Kansas, and man, it'd really be awesome to renew some of these rivalries, obviously back uh, back in the 2000s, and we saw some really good rivalries. I mean, for example, we had uh, Nebraska and Oklahoma always playing each other. Missouri always had a couple of really good rivalry, rivalries. And yeah, Colorado, of course, was a great or a great team to the conference. And yeah, of course, I mean, the Big 12 South, they got a lot of Texas teams for sure. I, I primarily reserve that for all Texas teams. We got Baylor, of course, Texas. And then we got TCU, Texas A&M, and then Texas Tech. Then we rounded off with Oklahoma State. So basically that South Division will primarily have Texas teams with the addition of Oklahoma State. But yeah, this is what I would like to do in the Big 12. I think the Big 12 definitely is a conference that uh, isn't as good as it used to be. I mean, it was definitely one of the best conferences in the nation when uh, when Nebraska and Missouri and Texas A&M, et cetera, were all uh, in this conference. And yeah, overall, I think this would be a great way uh, to bring back the Big 12 and yeah, overall, once again, just a great conference in general when it was back uh, with Nebraska, Missouri, etc. in this conference. Now onto the SEC, and we got three teams entering this conference. We got Florida State, Miami, and UCF entering. And so yeah, we're adding in three Florida teams to the SEC conference. So you could kind of consider the SEC as uh, more of a Florida conference at this point, especially in the SEC East where we got uh, four teams as Florida teams. We got Florida, Florida State, Miami, and then UCF all in the SEC East along with South Carolina and Tennessee. And then in the SEC West, we got Alabama, LSU, uh, Mississippi State, Auburn, Arkansas, and then Ole Miss. So yeah, that's what we're looking at in the SEC. We also have five teams leaving. We got Georgia, Missouri, Kentucky, Vanderbilt, and Texas A&M all taken off. And yeah, obviously, I mean, the SEC is definitely a conference that is one of the best in the nation. They're always a top two conference, and usually it's them alternating with the Big Ten. But yeah, I think definitely, I mean, all we're doing here is we're just replacing Vanderbilt with UCF. I mean, uh, Vanderbilt's been in the SEC for a while, but Vanderbilt definitely is is just a team that really has not been very relevant in many sports. So, yeah, we get rid of Vanderbilt and we send them off to a different conference and to make more sense in general. I mean, UCF is in uh, more of the territory of the SEC in the first place, and also UCF is, in general, I'd say a better team than Vanderbilt, especially over the past few years. So, yeah, I think UCF would be a good addition. They'd basically be replacing Vanderbilt. They wouldn't be the strongest one in the conference, obviously, but they would be um, a decent addition kind of to take the place of Vanderbilt. And I'm sure they'd probably be, honestly, a better team than Vanderbilt ever was for the SEC. But, yeah, we'd throw them in the SEC East once again and then in the SEC West. Uh, basically, I mean, it's not a, not a lot of changes in there. You got Alabama, LSU, Mississippi State, Auburn, Arkansas, and then Ole Miss. So, yeah, no new SEC teams in the SEC West, but once again, we do have three new additions in the SEC East. But, 
Yeah, of course, when you do lose Georgia, that would certainly uh, decrease the strength of this conference in general, but you are adding Miami and Florida State, so you weren't, really wouldn't have to worry about that. You also lose Texas A&M, so this would honestly balance out the talent of the SEC uh, among the rest of the Power Five conferences. So, yeah, definitely, I think this would be a great way to rearrange the SEC. Moving on to your third conference, that's going to be the Big Ten. We got two new teams entering this conference, so yeah, not a lot of changes, but we do have Notre Dame and Iowa State coming in. Notre Dame obviously is an independent, and they have to have a conference at some point. I mean, Notre Dame is too strong of a team to always stay as an independent. Uh, we also got Iowa State, which they were in the Big 12 previously, and yeah, they're kind of in Big Ten country. They're kind of the, uh, the big outlier right now in the Big 12. They're way too far up north to be a Big 12 team, so yeah, we're going to throw Iowa State in uh, the Big Ten as well. We got four teams leaving. That's going to be Maryland, Rutgers, Penn State, and then Nebraska. And as far as your Big Ten East looks, we're also rearranging the, the divisions a bit because, of course, Purdue yeah, never was a Big Ten East team, but now they are. Uh, but either way, yeah, we got Michigan State, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Purdue, Michigan, and then Indiana rounding out your Big Ten East. Then in the Big Ten West, we got Wisconsin, Iowa, Iowa State, Illinois, Minnesota, and then Northwestern. And yeah, I just think in general, this would just work out better for the Big Ten Conference, especially for the Iowa rivalry. Obviously, we got Iowa and Iowa State. They play each other almost every season. So yeah, you'd be able to have them um, playing naturally in the same conference, and you wouldn't have to uh, take up one of your non-conference games to play uh, Iowa State or Iowa vice versa. So, yeah, I think this would be this would be a great way to have the Big Ten, obviously, with Maryland and Rutgers. They never fit in even from the start uh, when they came into the Big Ten in the early 2010s. And, yeah, I mean, both of those teams, they haven't really been relevant in the conference at all uh, over the past couple of seasons, or past few seasons for that matter, and then of course, Penn State was a great team. They're a great team for the Big Ten, but I think we're going to move them on uh, to a different conference, and you'll get to find out where they're going next. But, yeah, we already went over Nebraska. They're going to the Big 12. Uh, once again, that's where they were previously, and I just think that would be a better fit in general for the Big Ten. Next up is the Pac-12. We really don't have many changes in this conference. Obviously, we got Boise State. Uh, they're going to be entered. They're the only team that we're really going to be swapping out with. Uh, which we're going to be swapping Colorado with Boise State. Colorado is going to be leaving this conference, of course. Uh, as you saw before, they went on to the Big 12, kind of like how they were uh, just a decade ago. And, yeah, Boise State being a team that probably is one of the better Group of Five conference teams. I mean, they're certainly uh, the best team in the Mountain West, and they have been for several years. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be entering the Pac-12. I think this is a team that's definitely worthy of being a Power Five conference team. I mean, you know, over the past 20 years or so, Boise State's definitely been a team that has been very relevant. Um, and relevant nationally a few seasons as well. I mean, if you look back, especially in the late 2000s and a couple seasons along with that, I mean, Boise State's definitely a team that can contend. And, yeah, I definitely think they'll continue if they go to the Pac-12. That'd be a great move for them. But, yeah, other rights, once again, Colorado's leaving. They're going to the Big 12. And, honestly, the rest of the Big 12 really looks good to me. I mean, there really is not a lot to change. Uh, really, I mean, there aren't a lot of teams that you could swap uh, teams out in the Pac-12. I mean, you could swap maybe, I mean, Wyoming, if they were good, you could maybe throw them in the Pac-12, uh, maybe Utah State, BYU, but yeah, I think Boise State would be the best fit in this circumstance, so uh, yeah, that, I am putting them in the Pac-12. And your Pac-12 North, you got Oregon, Oregon State, Washington, Washington State, then you got Boise State, of course, and then you got Utah uh, to finish that off, and then the Pac-12 South, you got your four California teams in UCLA, Cal, and then USC and Stanford. And then you got your two Arizona teams, too, with Arizona and Arizona State. So, yeah, once again, though, the Pac-12 looks really good to me already. I mean, I don't think there's a whole lot to change. And if I did change a lot, it would be pretty forced. So I think this is just kind of a natural fit for the Pac-12 if Colorado were to leave. they'd be Honestly, they would be the most likely team to leave in general, honestly. I mean, Colorado is definitely a team that, uh, I mean, they were, they've been okay in the Pac-12, but they definitely played better uh, during their time in the Big 12 in general. Moving on to the ACC, and this is really where it starts to get messy. we got seven teams entering this conference, along with, I believe, nine teams that are leaving it. Um, and really, I mean, this the ACC and the Big East are two of uh, the conferences that really, I mean, of course, like we got half the ACC teams that moved all the way to the Big East. So, yeah, basically that's kind of where we're getting our Big East teams from, but it just makes sense because you got the Atlantic Coast Conference and uh, you got a lot of teams in this area, and it definitely worked best to move a lot of those teams to the Big East. Uh, but yeah, as far as entering goes, we got Georgia, Kentucky, and Vanderbilt from the SEC. Then we got Navy, Memphis, uh, Temple, and then South Florida also coming in. So, yeah, the ACC, I mean, you're, you're getting a couple of big teams such as Georgia and sometimes Kentucky. And you're also getting a lot of American athletic schools when you got Memphis, Temple, uh, South Florida, and the Navy. But, yeah, as far as the ACC North goes, really, 
uh, we're putting in Vanderbilt and Navy and that's about it. We got Clemson, Louisville, NC State, and North Carolina still in there. And then we got in the ACC South, uh, we have got Georgia, Kentucky, along with South Florida, Temple, Georgia Tech, and then Memphis. So yeah, Georgia Tech's kind of staying the same as well. But yeah, so that's kind of what your ACC looks like. Leaving the conference, we got a lot. Uh, we got Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, Pitt, uh, Florida State, Boston College, Syracuse, Virginia, Duke, and then Miami. Of course, Miami and Florida State, I believe, went to the SEC. And yeah, a couple of these schools, a lot of these schools that you see here uh, leaving this conference are going on to the Big East, uh, which is the next conference. This is also our final conference. And basically, of course, the Big East really consists of nothing. So, uh, yeah, we came up with 12 teams. And this is what we got in the, in the uh, Big East North. We got Boston College, Penn State, Rutgers, Maryland, Pitt, and then Syracuse. So you got your three Big Ten schools uh, going to the North Division. And, uh, of course, I mean, Penn State, I considered leaving them in the Big Ten. But I just think, I mean, they'd be a good, they'd be a good fit in the Big East, in my opinion. I mean, you get, you got to have a good school in the Big East. I think Penn State could definitely be the team for that. And I mean, you also got a couple of really good teams as well. I mean, Maryland definitely has potential some years. Uh, I mean, otherwise, I mean, Pittsburgh sometimes is good. You got Virginia in the South Division. They've been contender over the past couple of seasons. They made it to the ACC Championship last season. And then you also got Virginia Tech, which is a team that's on the rise. Wake Forest really wasn't that bad last season. And so the South Division definitely would be a division that seems very strong right now uh, compared to the North Division. I mean, in the North Division, you really don't have a whole lot. Rutgers and Maryland uh, pretty much have been bottom feeders in the Big Ten for the past few seasons. And I mean, Pitt's been okay. Boston College has been okay. Syracuse is kind of the same. But yeah, this is kind of what your Big East would look like, I think. You got one team from the American Athletic in here being Cincinnati. Uh, you, then once again, the Big Ten, you got Penn State, Maryland, and Rutgers in the Big 12. You got West Virginia. And then you've got those seven ACC teams coming in, Boston College, Syracuse, Pittsburgh, along with Virginia, Virginia Tech, Duke, and Wake Forest. I just think, I mean, if we were to add a new conference such as the Big East, I think this is kind of what it would look like. I mean, uh, once again, it's kind of in the ACC region, and you also could call it the Big Northeast, too. I mean, most of these teams that you see here are in the northeastern part of the United States. So, yeah, it'd definitely be a good, I mean, it'd be a good name for that as well. I mean, I'm just kind of throwing out uh, the Big East just because, I mean, it's already, uh, it's already a conference, and it makes sense, but you could call it the Big Northeast as well if you really were to take this into account. But... Yeah, that about wraps up our conference realignment. If we were to do six conferences, six power conferences, and so yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this. Once again, uh, don't get all the pissed with me. Of course, this is just uh, this is just a mock, and so yeah, I I encourage you guys' thoughts. I'd like to hear what you guys think um, about this as well. I. Uh, like to hear I try to get back to as many of you guys comments as well I mean, I'm sure there'll be plenty of comments on this video So yeah with that being said though that about wraps up once again our conference realignment and stay tuned for more of these I think we may do uh, maybe a power seven power eight who knows uh, maybe we'll do a couple other uh, Conference realignments. I mean, maybe we could even do like two three conference uh, alignments as well So yeah, who knows? We have once again. Thank you all for watching stay tuned for more from all sports central and I will see you all later